What's good YouTube and welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another video for you guys. Three years ago, Jordan Brand introduced to us the Jordan 1 85 OG. This is a Jordan 1 that aims to be as close as possible to the original version that dropped back in the 80s. We haven't had too many releases. There was the New Beginnings. We saw the Varsity Red 85s. And last year we saw the Neutral Grays release. And in this video, I'll be talking about the latest, maybe even the greatest colorway of the Jordan 1 85. I'll be getting into the Jordan Jordan 1 Georgetown. So what is good guys, shout out to all my long-term viewers and if you are new here, my name is Josh, I do sneaker reviews and plenty of other sneaker content. If you have watched some of my videos in the past and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, it really helps out the channel. And I'm also dropping a lot of content on these platforms as well, so make sure you give me a follow. So in this video, I will be telling you everything you need to know about the Jordan 1 85 Georgetown. We'll get into what makes this 85 different than a regular Jordan 1 and also, of course, I'll talk about the quality on this pair. It's it similar to that very thick leather we saw on the neutral grays. I'll get into that. I'll tell you about sizing. We'll get into what these are going for right now on the resale market. And as always, I will be giving you guys that on feet look. So make sure you stick around until the end of this video. So the Jordan 1 Georgetowns. I've been waiting on this pair for a while. This is one of those first major leaks we saw for Jordan 1s that would be dropping this year. And so far, I have been a pretty big fan of this 85 model. Luckily, I hit on a raffle for these. These did release about a month earlier here in Europe. The official release date in North America is is April the 2nd and it will be retailing for a price of $200 which is a bit more expensive than your regular Jordan 1s. The colorway on this sneaker, this very very clean combination of gray and navy blue. The colorway of course was inspired by Georgetown University and specifically this sneaker was inspired by a sample pair of Jordan 1s back in the 80s. We've already seen this colorway drop in a very clean pair of Nike Dunk Lows last year and I don't know about you guys but I think this colorway looks really really nice on this Jordan 1 High 85. If you are new to this 85 model, there are quite a few differences between this and a regular or mainstream version of a Jordan 1 nowadays. For example, here I got a pair of the Jordan 1 Mochas and you'll notice that there is quite a substantial difference on the toe box. On the 85 version, the mudguard is definitely much higher up on the shoe. Also, perhaps my favorite difference, have a look at the swoosh on the 85s. It's much more of a thicker or retro looking swoosh compared to, I guess, guess the skinnier looking swooshes we see on the regular Jordan 1s. The retro looking swooshes look fire on the silhouette. I wish more Jordan 1s had them. You'll also notice the midsole, especially along the midfoot area, it isn't exactly straight. It is slightly curved. You also get quite a few extras on this shoe. So looking at the insole, you'll see that it comes with a sample tag. You also get this pretty awesome card that comes with the shoe with that Jumpman logo on the front. And opening it up, you see an explanation of all of the different features of the Jordan 1. I really like this. As a sneaker collector, it's little things like this that really make a difference. You get a couple of different lacing options with the shoe. They come standard in these gray laces. And you also get this pair of navy laces to match the upper let me know down in the comments which of these two colorways you prefer i would have loved to throw on a pair of my beige laces from elevate laces on this pair because i think that would really set it off unfortunately those are out of stock right now i don't even have a pair to put on the shoe Make sure you check the website, the link is in the description whenever they do restock. But yeah, a vintage looking pair like this, you definitely need those cream laces. And speaking of vintage, you definitely see that on the tongue of the sneaker. It kind of has like a yellow tint. That yellow tint really just adds to that vintage type of aesthetic, really from a colorway point of view pretty close to a 10 out of 10. But now let's talk about the quality. You are paying a premium price here, $200 for this. So are you getting better quality? The answer is yes, you are. This as well as every other 85 that has come before has featured some very nice thick cut leather. I've seen a lot of people say that these 85 pairs have terrible leather. It doesn't have that super soft tumble leather that you like to see. It's just a much thicker cut of leather. It's gonna take a little bit longer to break in, but it's definitely gonna age very well. My biggest concern with this was how is the leather going to compare to that 85 neutral grays that dropped last year? I was so hyped to get that pair. I ended up 
even paying resale for that shoe, which is something I usually never do, only to find out that that shoe was pretty much unwearable for me. That leather had absolutely no give even after about five or six wears. I'm not even exaggerating. When I wore that shoe, it wasn't just pain. It was like excruciating pain. I'm very happy to say that the leather is much softer on this pair. The shoe from the first wear already feels like it is broken in a little bit. So it is much more wearable than the neutral grays. And from a sizing point of view, you can go true to size in these. With the neutral grays, a lot of people had the same issue like me. So they ended up going a half size up. You do not need to do that with this sneaker. True to size fits just fine. The leather still feels a bit stiffer than most regular Jordan ones. So it will take a little bit of time to get worn in, but nothing like those neutral grays. These you can go true to size. And looking at what they're going for right now on the resale market, at least these are European prices, by the way. The prices are going for about double what the retail was. If you are in North America and you check StockX, the prices are probably gonna be a lot higher than this right now because the shoe has not released there. For North American viewers watching this, I wouldn't buy them right now. I would definitely wait for the American release for the prices to come down. These Jordan 185 surprisingly haven't been shoes that have been rising in price very fast. So if you are on the fence about whether or not you want this pair and you're taking L on release date, you can definitely take your time and buy them at a price you feel comfortable with. We also got some very exciting news that we will be seeing the re-release of the iconic Chicago colorway dropping in this 85 model later this year. So you could actually decide to just sit out this release altogether, save your money for that pair. But now let's wrap this thing up. Overall, the Jordan 1 High 85 Georgetown colorway, a classic super clean colorway. The 85 model for fans of the Jordan 1, you just gotta love what they did with the silhouette, giving us a sneaker that is as close to the originals as possible, this time done in this very clean Georgetown colorway. As much as I love this shoe, if you guys are fans of my podcast, and I know a lot of you guys listen to it, I did say that one of my New Year's resolutions this year was that I'm not gonna be adding any Jordan 1s to my personal collection this year. But then they announced that the Chicago's are coming back. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be breaking that resolution. Those Chicago's are probably gonna be an impossible shoe to cop. So I'm getting ready to pay resale on those. So that's why I feel like I don't really need this sneaker in my collection. I'm ready to pass that on so I can save up for those Chicago's. That's just what I'm planning on doing. But let me know as usual, what do you guys think about this pair? Is this the best 85 to release so far? I would have said the neutral grays if it wasn't for that leather. I think when you combine the leather quality with the colorway, yeah, I would say these are probably my favorite 85s to drop so far, but let me know down in the comments what do you guys think. The on feed about to drop right now. Thank you guys so much for messing with the channel and for supporting my content. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you found this video useful, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.